Hey guys, this is Jacob here from House to House Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you a, a great tutorial using Adobe After Effects using the Wiggler um, effect. This is you should have the Wiggler effect because it comes with Adobe After Effects. Okay, so if you don't have it on the layout here, all you have to do is click Window and Wiggler. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to import your footage to the Project Media area, and then just drag it drag your footage on to the composition um, maker and what that does it creates the composition and does it the settings of your um, footage it like does the duration the resolution frames per second and stuff like that if you don't have any footage you can just download it I'll give you this link here um, or it could be in the description um, so that if you don't have any footage to use you can just use this one okay um, as you, m some of um, our views, if you you might notice this is Elementor Powers, <laughs> okay. So now f step one for the um, Wiggler effect, what you want to do, you want to click P, have your footage selected, and click P for the position to come up. Now click your stopwatch, and drag your keyframe wherever you want the Wiggler to start. So I'll just start it here, um, and make another keyframe to where you want the Wiggler to finish. That's going to be here. Okay. Now, once you've done them two keyframes for the beginning and the end, just shift, have one selected, and then have the other selected. And then you can see the wiggler um, effects, um, all the options have come up. Okay. So, what you want to do, you want to change whatever, if you want these, um, it to be a smooth wiggle or j jagged. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use smooth. Um, now for the frequency and the magnitude what the frequency does it is how much it wiggles per second so for this I'm just going to use 17 and then just do 43 and then click apply and then all the keyframes for the wiggles have come in the position section and then you can see on the composition screen um, uh, all the keyframes okay now that you've done that, you might notice there's um, uh, you might notice edges there, but sometimes you might just z just zoom in onto the um actual composition size. What I like to use um, you go to effect, stylize, and go to uh, motion tile, and then once you've done that, this should come up and click the output width. Do 150 and okay, and do that to the same on this one. Now click mirror edges and it should mirror all the edges that um, the footage goes out of the frame in. And now to make the frame the, to make it uh, look a bit more real, the um, uh, footage um, with all the wiggle in it, we click this with all the four circles on it. Just click it for the motion blurring. And then what you do if um, all these settings on here, you just click the switch and it will toggle um, the modes and that, and click that on like all your s all your footage on the scene. Um, okay, and then it just like sort of blurs out the direction of the wiggle, like or whatever the direction the wi it's wiggling, it just blurs out that. Um, I'll just do a ramp preview to show you what it looks like. I'll just. Uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, like Riley's here, I'm um, doing the um, free cam, and yeah, it looks quite good. But like this could be used in like explosions, um, uh, hits. I don't know, just stuff that would make the camera vibrate. <laughs> yeah, hope this has been helpful. This tutorial and. Um, have helped you with the wiggler effect okay and thank you for watching please subscribe and thumbs up this video it will help us a lot okay and see ya